if you are the type of person to try and get into a business or any form of of difficulty and you're the type of person at the first sign of failure at the first sign of slowing progress at the first obstacle you're the type of person to just give up you are weak you are weak and i don't want you here so if you're gonna if you watch this video you're gonna make me a promise bro whatever difficulty you're going through you persist for three months and then you come and speak to me again you don't fucking give up from the get-go literally bro if you're just gonna like try something for a week and then oh it doesn't work just click off at this point <laughs> click off and fucking dislike there's a secret method if you stick to the end of the video i will show you and to reward your dopamine systems that aren't completely fried by the subway surfers fucking tiktok videos if you stick till the end i'll give you a little secret method that will really help you out when making your first few bucks let's talk about making ten thousand dollars a month for many people this number is like what the fuck that's completely impossible especially if it's online 10,000 a month that just that sounds retarded how the fuck are you gonna make 10,000 a month the first and most important thing that you must break when getting into like the journey of entrepreneurship is the belief systems you have about money you are going to make the same amount of money you believe you can make and I'm, I'm not saying like just visualize, you know, that wishy-washy of wishy-washy bullshit of like, oh, uh, I'm going to be a millionaire and then you're going to become. No, I'm talking the belief systems you have. If you genuinely believe that making $10,000 a month is something that's imperceivable. Yeah, well, no shit. You're never going to get there. You have to have the belief that break the belief systems you have. If you already have a good belief system, great. But if you have the belief system that it's just too hard, it's. It's out of the realm of possibility. You break that belief system immediately. I, I'm gonna tell you something right now that this should break it like in a second. Bro, at the time of making this video, I have 500 subscribers. If I make a product and make it cost $100 and just 100 people buy it, that's only 20% of my audience. If 20% of my audience, one out of five people look at my product and say, oh, damn, that's kind of nice. And they buy it. That's $10,000. That's $10,000 immediately. And keep in mind, my audience, although they're very loyal, it's a small audience. Like At the time of making this video, it's a small audience. It's 500 people. It's not a big audience. But if one out of five people buy that, that's 10k. Now let's magnify the audience just a little. Let's say I, I'm at 2,000 subs. Right? And the sub subscribers do not matter at all, by the way. There are people with 100 subs making $50,000 a month. Your the subscribers and views don't matter. I'm giving you an example here. If you have someone with 2,000 subscribers and just one out of 50 people buy it that's 10k a month a hundred people just a hundred people out of his audience of two thousand people if a hundred people purchase the product you're set your most important thing is your belief system now i'm going to show you a little graph i'm going to tell you a little mini story this graph you see right here is the graph of my old channel we were popping, bro. I was about to fuck. I was about to go viral. And then something terrible happened. I made a mistake and within a day, I had to shut down the entire channel and back to zero. Literally back to nothingness. If, if that happens to like your average Joe who has the mindset, if, if I give you a 10,000 subscriber channel and you had, to, you had to get rid of it for some reason, you would not be able to regenerate it. People with business minds... There's, there's a belief system they have that no, ma no matter what happens, whether they go bankrupt, whether, sh whether fucking catastrophe happens, they're always going to find a way to just make it back up there again. Uh, right now, I'm, I'm at the position of downfall. You've seen the, the, the growth I had. Some of you who were present with the, like the old channel and stuff, you've seen the growth I was having. Bro, I was about to fucking go viral. There's a video with, with social media and stuff. There's, there's a piece of content you upload. You upload for three months and then one piece of content you make. 
You never know when. It could happen in a month. It could happen in a week. It could happen in a year. A piece of content, a video, a, a fucking TikTok short Instagram real thing. You upload it and that's the one that gets you recognition. I did mine. And you can see the graph, bro. I was about to go f fly to the fucking moon. Literally, that would have been financial freedom for me. Because I had a product ready and everything. But no. Downfall. Complete destruction of what I had. Ah, so what the fuck do I do? You know, I, I just got fucked. Do I just sit there and do nothing? No. The belief systems you have, they're the things that are going to dictate whether you make it or not. Bro, if I did it once, I can do it again. It's just gonna take a little bit more time. That's a massive fucking obstacle, and you know, some of you brothers know how much of an obstacle this was for me. But guess what? Take it as a fucking win. Harden your character. You big loss, but if I did it once, I can do it again, and that's because of my belief systems. If I had a bitch belief system, bro, I'd be done. I'd be smoking weed right now. Unless you just be playing video games. Now let's talk about the method. The method is very simple. People overcomplicate business so much and for good reasons. But thing is, this overcomplication is targeted to not beginner level businessmen, not beginner level entrepreneurs. They target it to intermediate and advanced people. When I start telling you about like the funnels and the and, and like your affiliate and when I start giving you super deep details of things, you're gonna get overwhelmed and you'll never start. That's why I'm gonna put this in, in newbie terms for you. Alright? When you go and fight the Ender Dragon in Minecraft, do you just go hop into the end and just try and stab him with the sword? No, 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 no. Because he has, he has the fucking Ender Crystals thing. He's gonna get healed. Even if you keep on stabbing him with the sword, if you keep on slashing, he's gonna get healed. That Ender Dragon will not die. So there's a method to it. You don't just hop in and, and do something stupid. Keep on slashing him. No, no, no. You build your blocks, or you use the bow and arrow, and you destroy the end crystals. You break the end crystals. And then you fight the ender dragon. Same thing with the wither, bro. You don't fucking... You don't spawn the wither inside your house. You go to the depths. You go to a desert, bro. You go to a place of flat land, and then you go fucking... You go ham on the wither. Same thing with business. Effective methods change over time. And so right now, bro, the method that is the best for the current stage of 2023 in the attention economy is creating a loyal audience and selling them a private community. What? Uh, private community? I thought it was courses. Courses work. Courses work. You can create your audience and you can sell them a course. Make the course... Make, make your audience resonate with you and then sell them your course. But a super effective method right now is you put the courses in this private community. Because courses are a one-time, like you, they buy the course and then they just have it. But a private community, it's a recurring subscription. You want to make a, re a recurring subscription. You generate your audience. You start like the TikTok channel or the Instagram account or the YouTube channel. And then you create that audience, you make them like you, you you're charismatic, you give them value, you, you, you have some credibility. You don't just, hey guys, uh, I'm selling a product. You give yourself some credibility. You give yourself some credibility, you, you start growing, you create an audience. People need to see that you know, you're not just a, a crony. You create the audience and then you start advertising your product, whether Whatever kind of product it is, whether it be an ebook, whether it be a course, whether it be a fitness program, whether it be a private community, private community is the best tactic right now. You sell them a private community, and through this private community, you can put in the courses. You can put inside the fitness, you can put inside the ebook, you can put everything. So now you're gonna say, okay, I understand that the private community is probably the best thing because it's recurring income. You know, they pay you every month, every week, every whatever. It's a recurring form of income and I can put all my courses and it's the most loyal people who will join and pay for my private community. I understand it's the best method, but how do I implement this? Well, like I said, you create the audience, you generate people that really fuck with you and they want to support you, they want to get closer to you on whatever platform you want. 
and you set up the community. Now, I'm not going to guide you through specifically on how to, you know, generate the audience and create the channel and have people that like you and what type of videos to make and how do I actually set up the, the, the private community, like the logistics of it. I'm not going to guide you through that. That is stuff you learn on your own. But what I can tell you is something that will truly, truly help you is having a community of like-minded people or a mentor. Through... Bro, literally since the dawn of humanity, all the apprentice blacksmiths learned from the master blacksmiths and the fucking, the, the, the horse rider learned from his master. It's, it's always mentor and mentee. When there's a result, a desirable result you want to achieve, the fastest way you can get to that is listening to a mentor. That's why I created the higher brotherhood. So I can specifically coach you on any question you have regarding entrepreneurship and self-improvement. Right now, this is my private community, by the way. My private community. We have five members, and I'm, I'm selling it for $97 a month. Okay? Right now, it's $97, a recurring subscription of $97 a month. This is something you want to do when you create your private community. The beginning, you're going to sell it for cheap. And then people are going to start joining and joining and joining and joining. Once people, like, start really fucking with your product... Because this is all business. This is entrepreneurship. Bro. Once people start really fucking with your your product and your community, you want to raise the price. You bring that shit up like $100 every 50 members. The community right now I have, it's called the Higher Brotherhood. It's, it's a beautiful community. I have courses being set up in there. I have coaching, direct one-to-one -one coaching for people. I have literally the mentor and mentee attitude. And we have like speakers and an audience and... It's at five members right now. And once we hit 10 members, I'm going to increase the price to 197 per month. It's business, bro. So if you want to learn how I built this higher brotherhood, how I built this private community, join the higher brotherhood. And I'll specifically teach you the, the, the finest details of everything, one-to-one. -one. Now, the little secret you've probably been waiting for, or you might have forgot if your dopamine systems are demolished. The secret is I've actually set up affiliate marketing for the higher brotherhood. Basically, this means once you join, you get a super secret code. You get a very special code. And this code gives you anyone who joins using this link of yours that you will mark.